<sighs> it's great to see you, Groovy Cats. Epic Awesome here. I have some news for this Friday, this Epic's Friday. So what's been happening here? I went and had a time at this local expo, this entertainment expo, Sask Expo, the past weekend here has gotten me to think that I should do something a little bit more. Do you remember when I put up this Project Playlist Pilots video? This was the starting of a new sort of comic thing that I wanted to do, try out at least, and get myself back into drawing and back into doing that sort of thing because when I took animation for three years, when I first came to the city, I really wanted to do something along those lines, where I'm drawing, making something, animating, something along those lines, making, creating, for something. But in 2012, 2013, this province that I live in in Canada decided to just take out all the film tax credit, which then led me to not have any place to go for any animation, any movies, and anything that I really wanted to do, I would have had to do it in freelance. Which means I would have had to go around advertising myself that for a reasonable fee, I will draw whatever you would like me to do. But in comparison to the rest of the class that I was in, and all the previous freelance artists that already existed, I didn't have much of a chance. So a few years later, after some stuff went down, I decided... I guess I should probably fill in some of those after a few things went down. After that, and I took a year off to actually try to find something, but came up hand, empty-handed, I decided to take another sort of education route, which didn't pan out for me very well. However, I did start Epic Awesome Yo in 2014, which was when I was also doing that other stuff, which was just like another little thing for me to like take my mind off of stuff, take my mind off of the classes and how much it was very daunting. Some people went out every weekend to drink and have a good time. I stayed in and just made some videos because it was creative. A, and it was fun. But it's been about two years now, almost three years, and it hasn't really gotten me too much anyway. See, when I was first making it out, I wanted it so it was, I wanted it so I was going to be able to make something out of it. Something where I was like, I could rely on it as a source of income. Get a get a following going, like you guys, and from that I would be able to branch out from that and make some merchandise and all this other good stuff. Continue making videos and just being able to rely on that outlet as another source of income. But after all this time, not that it hasn't really happened yet, and it's probably because I haven't been trying hard enough, honestly. I've I could be trying a little harder. But another thing I was working on on the side was Project Playlist. And after seeing all the local artists and all the guest artists at this expo, it really want, it really showed me that I could probably work a little harder on it myself and get some of it to a point where people would like to come and see it. Come and see it. And if I had prints, I would be able to sell some of those prints, and that would make me another outlet of income. I know, I'm worrying about it too much, but that is number two on the list of things that I need to worry about. But the first thing that I would like to worry about is creating it. Because if I haven't even started it, I can't even worry about number two. Which I think is where I've been tripping up the most, so I really need to focus on doing more creating of this project playlist and in order for me to do that I'm gonna have to either wait five years 
and work on it on the side while I'm also trying to do Epic Awesome, you know, which would then also take twice as long to make the videos. But if I pour my efforts into making the project playlist, then it would take three times less as long. And one of my goals actually for this is that next year, next year's expo is going to be coming along at same, roughly the same time of the year. So I would like to get as much as that, much of that done as I possibly can. So when it comes around, I can then open up rent a table at the expo and then be able to showcase some of my stuff. Whether or not that's going to be able to become a thing is entirely up to me and how much time I get to put into this project. And if I don't get to put that much time into my project because I'm too much worrying about making my videos for this channel, then I won't be able to do as well as I would believe I would be able to is if I don't focus entirely on it, if that makes any sort of sense. But that's my excuses for today. Basically, I'm going to be cutting back on all my videos that I'll be putting on this channel. Sorry, I'm sorry that they're not going to be as much or any, sorry, videos updating. But really, all the videos that I've been doing anyways have been old video game video like old like video games that are old doing videos on those half as efforts on like overwatch and no man's sky and no man's sky is basically like a almost a weaker version of minecraft and i can't even play minecraft very well either i say weaker because in minecraft you get to build anything or no man's sky you get to discover and a lot of people even been saying, if you're seeing one rock on one planet, you're going to see the exact same rock on another planet, except for it's going to be called something just a little bit different. I don't mind that. I enjoy that. But not everybody does, so... Mm -hmm. If they're not going to enjoy playing it, they probably won't enjoy seeing it. And to make something like that very uh, high, high energy and high entertaining just really isn't possible really it's a layback game and if you're not into a layback video then nobody's gonna watch and if i'm gonna make videos that people aren't gonna watch anyways i might as well just work on project playlist and actually get a second issue up the pilot's good and all but it doesn't really convey the story that i have going on here what little story i have i actually have a lot of story it's just it's not solid the structure, there's a lot of holes in it. But what I do have down for the story for it is actually really good. Which makes me, which is another reason why I want to work on it. So yeah, there you have it. And I just wanted to take the time, as little energy and little motivation as I had to make a video like this, another vlog video. I thought maybe I should at least have something on that channel that lets somebody know, that lets other people know, new people, old people coming, seeing the videos, let them know that there's this going on instead of like them wondering for weeks and weeks whether or not I'm going to upload something new. I guess the last one I think is basically just my guitar competition entry, which I probably haven't done too well on, mainly because there's so many other great guitar players out there that are going to want the guitar too. As a guitar giveaway, it ended at September 20th. Sorry, I'm not a music channel. I just wanted to try something because why not? But that is it. That's all I have to say for this weekend. You know, except, except for the other mandatory things where it's like, I've been doing good. The weather's been nice. It hasn't. Oh. That reminds me. And I think of... For the videos, at least, I think I've been trying, like, a little too hard because... I watch other YouTubers all the dang time. Jacksepticeye. PewDiePie. Markiplier. Cinnamon Toast Ken. Like a cheese fun. Games the Monkey. Like... Monkey in a Top Hat. Um... 
a plethora of other people. Like I could bring it up right now and just go through all the channels that I watch. Like this list is bananas. Well, at least for video game, because commentary video game is a different genre than say what JonTron does or what Brandon Turner does, which is animation. Brutal Moose doesn't commentary over games. He talks about them and their history. He does research like Ked Icarus, but like Dashy Games and Game Grumps too. Hat Films and fucking I has Cupquake. All these people that I watch, I always feel like fucking my scrim and Lorne Minion, of course. But when I like watch these people and they say something funny, I feel like it's like duty to like figure out a way that I can use what they said into something that I am doing. Which is like an effort and a half to accomplish. And I was just reminded of it where one of the Markiplier videos, he was playing some game where it was like a bad game but there was the ability for the game to be good but he was being all like positive about it but he implanted caught in some of his reactions to it, answering the questions, or it's like this. He's playing the game, oh, what's this? This could be good. It wasn't. No, no, this could be something really good. It's not. What is this? There has to be something to this. I think I found something. <laughs> and that, my friends, is my jam. I spread that all over. I spread it like... Gandalf is basically. See, I just, I just try too hard. It's, it's my problem. But this video has been going on for far too long. I gotta cut it off. I gotta cut it off. I got stuff to do. Which also, very quickly, my work schedule is bananas. They got me on 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. That means unless I wake up super great early in the morning, like in bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, I ain't doing shit. You think I am a morning person? There is not enough coffee to get my ass out of the bed. You could just douse me in fucking the best part of waking up, and it just will not work on me. And for me to get at least a little bit of energy to do something like this every day, it just doesn't happen. Yesterday, I barely made it into work. Now, I did make it into work, but I was, like, not entirely there. You know that happy medium place where you're just waking out of the bed, but you get the morning stares, and you just end up staring at things way, way in the far distance. You're looking through walls, you gain x-ray vision, and you're just looking, like, all across the world, and you're... Just not even at Earth right now. You're on fucking Pluto, that poor planet that is no longer a planet anymore. Just like, that bird is far away, man. I was like that. And if you think I can do a video that's entertaining like that, you are wrong. I, can, I can't barely operate a camera, find a fucking record button on the thing. I, I would be missing putting on the audacity. Which records the voice. Make it sound gr nice. Gr 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 nice. Tripping over my words. Spitting all over the place. But. I cut it off here, finally. The end of the video. Thank you for joining me for so long. Thank you for seeing my videos. And I hope to goodness sakes that they at least entertained you a little bit. Give you a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of happy, happy, joy, joy, in through and out and out you're through your days. Because that is all I really wanted, next to, you know, doing it full time. If I did it, if I got to do it full time, then I would do, make it happy, happy, joy, joys all day long. But that's not what happens. It sucks, but it happens. So what I want you to do is just take care. Take care of yourself. Because adventure awaits, if you don't take care, then you're not ready for the adventures. You gotta be on point with those adventures. They're awaiting. Okay? Okay. Let's get out of here. I got work to do. Take care. Adventure awaits. Like it always does.
なのかね。つけないんで